92 yards against the Cougars now. Davis will have to throw and gets rid of it. Wide open is Sean Timms. Touchdown, Washington State. Sean Timms with his first Cougar touchdown. Well, Davis shows great poise on this play where he's got defensive lineman right in his face and he's still able to stand in there tall and wait for Timms to finally break loose. They're making the tackle. Second down and nine now. 12 and a half minutes to go in the football game. 28 to seven, Nebraska. Madu in motion out of the backfield. Quick toss by Davis. Nice catch by Sean Timms and does a great job to stay inbound. Timms on his feet. Touchdown, Washington State. Great effort by Sean Timms. His touchdown reception makes it 28-13. Well, again, with an interesting decision by Charlie McBride. Defensive coordinator. I'm going to play man-to-man -man defense, but I'm not going to bring anybody. I'm not going to force Davis to have trouble. He delivers that ball. First of all, it's a great catch. And then Stokes is unable to make the tackle. Everybody stops for a half a second, and then he is able to keep his balance and prance into the end zone. Able to come up with that catch. Third down and six for the Cougars. So basically, they're in a situation where they've got two downs to keep this drive alive. 3.45 to go with the game. Sparks in motion out of the backfield. Davis, time over the middle, open. Timms, he makes the catch, stays on his feet, touchdown Washington State. Second time Davis and Sean Timms have hooked up. And the Cougars for the Cougars. Sticking around for this. Chad Davis just lobbing it over the top. And John Timms is showing us something here in Cushion today. Chad Davis to Jay Dumas, but also Chad Davis to Sean Timms for a couple of touchdown plays. Our Sterling Savings play of the game. Timms with the catch over the middle, breaks a couple of tackles and gets into the end zone. Young man out of Vallejo, California with a couple of touchdown catches and our Sterling Savings play of the game. Frame, uh, only a junior, and like we said, improving rapid leaps and bounds this year. First down for the Cougars, just shy of the midfield stripe. Davis with some time over the middle, open is Tim's foot race. Touchdown, Washington State. And how about Sean Tim? Four touchdown catches in the Cougars. Nice throw here. Well, we talked a little bit earlier about Reggie Tung and how he likes to play up close to the line of scrimmage. This ball is going to float right over his outstretched arm, and that's a free safety playing up close and man-to-man -man coverage. Tims is able to break away and, and get just deep enough. Leap! Oh. The daughter of Mike Price, the coach, she was supporting along the sideline. Two plays in a row that two receivers were wide open. The tight end and now Sean Timms, who's 5'10", 180 pounds of sophomore, wide open for the touchdown. And Angie's got the fans on their feet as the Cougars are coming back here in Wazoo. Well, that's a touchdown is good. The Stanford lead is just six points. Sean Timms has five touchdowns now in the year. This guy just gets open. Not a Cardinal within 10 yards of him. And Ryan Leaf, three touchdowns on the day. You're watching Pac-10 conference. They work so effectively, but here they're back to their normal defensive alignment. Bob Toledo talked about defending the run when they spread it out. That being important. Leaf finds Tim's touchdown, Washington State. 
An 11 yard catch and run by Sean Timms. And Washington State cuts the lead to 28 to 13. Yeah, he's working man to man with Waswa Swarwanga. Number four. And Timms in that man to man coverage just ran away from Swarwanga. So he finally gets a completion. He's 17 for 38. You know, and he had a similar dry spout where he was two for two in the second quarter, or two for 12, rather, against USC. So, you know, when you got a young quarterback, they tend to be a little streaky. Jubal's been under pressure a lot in this game, but here the blitz is picked up. And Sean Timms works man to man. See, number 80 works in. It's a wheel route, then works back out against Sirwanga. Number four is in coverage on the inside. He just can't keep up with the speed of Sean Tim. So Washington State finally gets on the board here in the second half. The scoring drive, John, didn't use up a lot of So the Bears will try it again. And needless to say, they are very aware of the rush that's been put on by the Washington State Cougars. And again, the Cougars line up in a 10-man front. Sean Tim's been averaging 11.8 yards per return. And this time they play run back. Twisting kick. Tough kick to handle. Tim's does handle it at the 27 yard line. He's got some room. At the 40, look out. Midfield. 40. One man to beat. At the 30, trips and falls over his blocker. At the 22 yard line. Chad Hinchin was the man who tripped him up. And the average just went from 11.8 to about 18. 50 yards on this one, Danny. So this is just well set up. Starts to his right and then cuts back to his left. And a good job by Ryan Longwell keeping him from going all the way. Twisting kick this time. Tims will handle this one, and now he's got a little step. The 20 trying to get outside. Cuts it up the middle to about the 34-yard line. Some tough yards on the return. 54-yard punt. And Claiborne makes... ...ball under less than ideal conditions. Cougars with the wind behind them. Out of the shotgun. Second and seven. Lee steps up, and as his man Tims, little running room. Cuts it outside. Foot race to the end zone. Touchdown, Washington State. Well, just when you're about to write this one off, you never can tell with a passing team. That's right, you got weapons like Sean Timms, who, once he does get the football, has excellent speed and open field running capabilities. He's the punt returner. Watch this move right here, it just sets him down is Smith, who's the corner. Burton unable to come all the way. Brian Leaf looks to be right on target, too. This is the Leaf that uh, stands in there, looks a lot more comfortable, and obviously getting a little more time from uh, his offensive line here. See what happens here. Nobody in the backfield. Leaf, time, throws over the middle. Wide open, Sean Timms. Touchdown, Washington State. Cougar faithful enjoying these first two offensive possessions as the Cougars are two for two. Ryan Leaf unofficially six for six for 90 yards. Well, this is just textbook right here by Ryan Leaf looking out. Watch uh, up on top. Nice job by McShane containing uh, Kelly inside there, the defensive end. And Ryan again looks off the free safety, comes back without any hesitation. This time, again, very difficult to catch these floating knuckle balls that get held up by that stiff breeze. And this is a knuckle ball that's being blown back by the wind, and it was touched by a Boise State player. This is all for not because it was touched by a Bronco. Timms is going to take it into the end zone, but I don't think it's going to be a score, folks. A beanbag is down at the 28-yard line. They're calling touchdown Washington State. Let's see if the officials huddle. They may have called an incidental contact and said that the ball was not down. And apparently that's what the officials are going to say. They aren't even talking about it. So Sean Timms with his first career punt return for a touchdown. When I get back there, I'll be like, I'm just going to try to get to a good field position and make something happen. 
And I seen it bounce in the air, and I, I looked around, there was no one in front of me, so I just grabbed it. And luckily, I made it all the way, got some blocks and stuff. So yeah, that was, that was a big moment for me. It was about time for our special teams to start making big plays, because in order to win games, you, your special teams have to play. And I think that's when we find out that we had a great spot. From your blind side, your left side, right. he can see that guy coming. Put it on the 14, make it the first down. Here they come with reversing the ball. It's Sean Timms into the corner. Touchdown! They started on the one-yard line, fumbled the football, recovered it on the two, and now they just stuck it in the end zone. cushion <laughs> the extra point try by Ryan Lindell he's a sophomore out of Vancouver Washington and it's blocked oh my goodness Gene. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 